swiftly moving on to our next story, which is on Wendy Williams' uh, ex-husband who calls police two times in three days over safety paranoia. Okay. Is he ex already? <laughs> the first guy is not official. We all know they're not coming back together. So yeah, but ex. I would have thought they would have waited for the divorce to be final before calling them ex. They're separated mm. as far as I know. Would rather um, they called him estranged husband? Maybe, but X is not appropriate right now. Wow. Mm, because yeah, X. X technically, as far as she's literally, X. you know, sorry? As far as she's, she's concerned, it's X. You no, know, so. until they're legally separated, it's you know. Left. It's left. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so Anyways, to this um, story. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead, please, Elsie. Uh, man, I, I don't know if he's, is he having this paranoia because he thinks that her fans would come on to him to do something bad mm -hmm. to him or what exactly is going on. I don't know. But I, I mean, that's the same question I'm asking myself. <laughs> I really don't know. Perhaps Ife has a better Maybe. understanding of what's going on in his mind. I don't know. No, because I it's think really basically, and this whole paranoia started from when the news of the divorce broke out mm -hmm. and um, he had um, news vans right in front of his house for hours and they wouldn't let him be. And he actually reported that as well. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards, he, this, he saw a car mm -hmm. on the street, you know, and he figured that, okay, these people look suspicious. So he doesn't know maybe they're paparazzis or they're reporters or whatever. So he made a dispatch call and they made it clear to him that, okay, they said they spoke to both parties, mm -hmm. which um, the people they suspected and they mm -hmm. discovered that they are no, legal to be, mm -hmm. to be, it's be legal there. for them to be there. Mm -hmm. And they made it clear to both parties that it's only trespassing when they come to your, on, on your, your property, property. Mm -hmm. but if they're on the sidewalk on the That's road, the then you it's legal. It's not, yeah. So it's just, I, I think it's just a case of, okay, he feels everybody wants him in the news, everybody wants to get Some him info. to say something you get. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's normal for everybody to be paranoid. And this could also be attention like, oh man, look, Look at what this divorce is doing to me is affecting. Mm, yeah, Very I soon you will so. probably be suing for damages. Oh, like, on. oh, this has affected so me. I haven't been able to leave for damages. For, <laughs> for what exactly? If for divorcing your wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's not making After you cheated. For his wife divorcing him. After he cheated. Way, he didn't divorce oh, oh, okay. No, I think he's really paranoid. There's a reason for divorce. Yeah, it's not yeah, just yeah, a divorce yeah, that it, came out of paranoid. Yeah. Yeah. But let's not even um, just think about it from the marriage's uh, perspective. I think it's more uh, like with the paparazzi, you know, as mm. opposed... Well, we can say maybe the reason for it is because of the um, separation between him mm. and... Um, what's her name now? Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams, yes, but I don't think that's the key thing. I think he just doesn't want to deal with the press right now, and that's what's yeah, causing the para, uh, paranoia. Yeah. So I think that's it, really. It's not to do with the marriage or anything like that. Yeah, and then um, before we wrap up, I think we should give... Um, one minute of silence for, to Singleton. Yes, yeah, Singleton. Boys in the hood. Hold on. One minute of silence. When you have a moment of silence, aren't you meant to close your eyes? And uh, why were the both of you looking at each other's eyes? That's because just like. Why did you have to break this? Anyways, rest in peace, Michael Singleton. Thank you for bringing to the screen most of the amazing, some Especially of the most amazing the movies. Mm -hmm. and no, I think I think to me it's poetic justice where That's... he had Tupac and Jane and Jackson in it. <laughs> now I think that was it. And this was the same guy that gave Ice Cube his break mm -hmm. into the movie industry. So okay. and Nia Long, you mm -hmm. know, the list goes on and on. And a lot of people have been doling accolades on names such mm -hmm. as Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson. And and the rest of them. So rest in peace, single. Yeah, rest, rest in, in peace. peace. Yeah.